Hello, my name is Jedi Knight, and it's 627 on November 25th, 2013, Anno Domini in the year of our Lord. Coming to you live from New Orleans, this is Fox News. Today we will be discussing the topic of naturalism, why it exists, and why people believe it. Let's switch over to Kevin the Gray, who is coming to you live from the Isthmus of Panama, where he is interviewing native Panamians. We apologize for any technical difficulties caused by the hurricane that is currently destroying the Isthmus. Why, thank you, Jedi. And hello, my name is Kevin the Gray. I'm here interviewing native Panamian Ichabod Crane. Hello. Africa. Oh, that's pretty nifty. Would you like a cool beverage? I would like so. So, they didn't have any alcohol. That's tasty. Yeah. But, what? OMG! Thank you, random four. Thanks! That's terrible beer, man. Anyway, continuing with our interview, I would like to first ask, what is your religion, or do you have a religion? I'm a naturalist. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Um. You're those people. All right. So, um, do you know what deism is? My first question. Yeah, deism is the belief that God kind of existed to begin with, and or a supreme being or something existed, and he made the universe and everything in it, but he's kind of like a watchmaker who makes a watch and then kind of leaves it to run, and if anything happens, he doesn't intervene. And deism, I do know, is like the isthmus between theism and naturalism, because I'm a naturalist, so I know that. And it's an isthmus between the two, just like this isthmus. Panama! Panama! Alright! You're correct! Just... Uh... Did, did you know... That, um... Without... Uh... Deism... There would be no naturalism? No work? Would there be any theism? I didn't know that. Well... No, it, thanks. It is... It is true. Because... Um... Well... It's just... True. It's the isthmus. Like you... Like you said earlier, it's like an isthmus. Um, yeah. okay, but that makes sense now. Uh, you? Yes, I am. African. Um, so, continuing. Do you believe that matter has always been and will always be? Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, I sort of believe that humans are just complicated machines and we're just kind of put here and. That is what it is. Um, there isn't any afterlife for God, by the way. That's what I believe. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I have to continue the interview. I have no problem, man. I'll hopefully see you, Ichabod, later. Thank you. Hello. I am here with Kent Everly, who will be continuing our interview. Hi. I'm from New Jersey. I'm basically awesome. Okay, um, first, first question, are, are you a naturalist? Yeah, I guess. Well, um, hey, wait, I have some more questions. Alright, so, do you believe that history is linear, and that everything, including personality, individuality, it, it stops after that? Yeah, sure. I can't really decide what I believe, so I just believe in everything. So yeah, I, I believe that. Um, okay. 
Do you have anyone else to interview, Kevin? Yes, and a matter of fact, I do. Thank you, Jedi. Uh, I actually have here with me Chai Chi. I'm from Asia! Oh, okay, that was quite weird. Um, so first question. Would you believe that history is just a chain of events linked only by cause and effect and that it has no real overall purpose? See, si, correct him. History has no purpose, no goal, and no meaning in life. Human history is just what we make it. So therefore, when we die, it ends. All right, so with that belief, do you think, do you believe that ethics uh, a plot only applies to humans and or do other things such as animals or minor sizes? Well, I don't know about mighty, but ethics are constructed by human beings. And if you look deeper into ethics, you can see that ethics are only personal. They only apply to yourself. You have different ethics for me. And therefore, ethics will be down with me, and your ethics will down with you. So, based on your personal ethics, do you believe that you have a purpose in life? It is definitely a possibility, but there is no way for me to know. Well, thank you for your time. And, sorry, we have to cut short. We have to go and go back to Jedi. Thank you. Well, thank you, Kevin the Great. Thank you, America, for joining us tonight. My name is Jedi Knight, signing off. Stay safe, America, and buckle up.